Hey up YouTube, how are we? Inside today, just rushed home to pick this up. This is a warm and safe heated base layer. It comes with complete wiring harness, remote control. If you'd like to see how this fits me and how this fits on the bike, stay tuned. So guys, I don't know if you're a bit like me, you get to a certain age in life that you just don't want to get cold anymore. Now, I've looked into various amounts of uh, heated clothing and I came up with uh, the warm and safe heated clothing because it's a base layer. Um, I didn't want a jacket, other people do uh, body warmers, etc. Um, and I thought the ba heated base layer was the best thing for me. The biggest thing about it is when you're riding 60, 70 mile an hour down the motorway, um, going to and from places. Even if it's double figures, it can get down to about four, five degrees, and it's great layering up. But the problem is that once you get cold, you can't get warm again, and then you stop, you're freezing, you're chattering, then you, you can't concentrate properly. And once you're cold, you're cold. I don't want that anymore. I wear a Hal Varsons uh, jacket, and I've already got a, an insulated jacket. So I didn't want another jacket, that's why I got the base layer. Um, this comes with six to eight uh, panels. I've already had it plugged in uh, to a spare battery and I've had it uh, on and it, and, it, and it does get warm. Um, I think it's around about seven, 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 70 watts of uh, power that comes out on it. It's tight fitting. People say you can wear it with a base layer underneath. Um, I haven't worn it on the bike yet. This comes with heated collar. It's got heating elements down to the uh, to the forearm on both arms. It's got heated chest and it's got heated back. I have had it plugged into um, a battery just here, and it is really toasty. I can't wait to get it on the bike. Um, I'll stick it on, show you how it fits, and um, we'll go from there. So when you get it on, because it's a base layer, it needs to be sort of tight fitting and um, when it's not on it does feel a bit bulky because of the wiring um, but once you get it on it just feels like a normal base layer so I've got cables here that are going to warm my chest up I've got all the way down each arm to my forearm which I think would be great and um, fully on the back just down to the lower back which is all done and um, inside this garment allows you to wear the gloves so we've got um, the wire that comes out which allows you to put uh, your uh, inner gloves on that's on both sides um, the control unit this is a double control unit I got a double control unit because I might want to go a bit further you can't get the single control unit this fits into a little side pocket here which you got the wire somewhere there we go which is the red one um, that plugs in that's your wireless controller which controls off this which comes with a little velcro sticky pad um, it works off I think it's Bluetooth I think it is um, which then warms up and then your other controller allows you to control gloves uh, liners you can have leggings you can have socks uh, various different things on a warm and safe it's full stretch fabric um, as you can see it's just like a, it is it's just like a normal base layer the heating element is apparently an alloy silicon which um, makes it lightweight, uh, heats up very well. They say that it's fully washable even with the wires into it, including um, the wireless control. I haven't tried it yet but they do say it is. We'll have a nip down to the garage, we'll wire it up, we'll show you how it wires up and how it plugs in. Dead easy. Um, we'll take it from there. Stay tuned. So in the garage now, what we're going to do is put the fly lead onto the bike. Uh, one of the problems, well it's not really a problem, is that the um, battery connections on the GS is on the right hand side but we need the fly lead on the left hand side because that's where it connects into the heated um, base layer. As you can see just down here, have a look. As I've already got um, a lead which is going to connect it to a similar place as it and that's from the uh, Optimate that we usually have connected in when I'm not riding the bike to keep my battery topped up. 
Um, to be relatively straightforward. Some of you probably already know how to do this, but we'll get it done. I'll just take the seats off and then we'll get it wired up. So what I need to do now is thread this through the frame to the left hand side because that's where we need to get through. The red and black, the two connections. What we're going to use is a fiberglass pole. That we use houses for pulling cables and pipes through walls a little bit easier you could use anything really a piece of anything thin enough to go through um just saves a little bit of time a little bit of effort um i could probably poke it through but i'll be there forever and i might not better get it in the right hole but tip it through and it goes Through the hole, and there's the lead through, just like that. So that's on the left hand side. So that's now pulled through. All I need to do is connect red to red, black to black. Um, 10 mil spanner. We'll take off um, take off earth first. So you've got no chance of um, shocking. Earthing down. Once that's off. We'll use a 225, 225, and we'll take the positive off. Once we take the positive off, we'll connect them back the opposite way around. We'll put the positive on first, because that's the safe way to do it. Connect the positive up first, and then we'll connect the negative up. If you do it that way around, you'll never get a shot down to earth. You'll never get a shot onto the frame. You've got less chance of uh, blowing fuses, and it's the way that it should be done. So there, uh, how easy that is. Um. It has a fuse in it already, which is similar to the one that's already in. So what we need to do is just to get that out of the way a bit, out of the way, so it's not going to be anywhere. I think we we'll probably need to go over the top to get a little bit of length on that. We need it just sticking out, I would say. We we'll really need to go that far, I would say. So put that over the top of the battery looks okay and I'll put the battery cover back on as you can see there's my fly lead which is the other one that's connected in for me optimate when you go back on make sure you don't catch any um any cables any anything there or something will stop working get your screw back in t25 And that's all wired in that side we'll have a look we'll turn the bike around we'll have a look at it and see where it comes out we'll put the um base layer on and see where it needs connected to so we've got the flyer lead now on the left hand side of the bike it's quite a bit long so what i'm going to do is put the um seat on and then see what sort of length it is the seat's on it's a big fly lead but sat on the bike i'm going to want it somewhere around about that it looks as though we could take it around the front here and stop it flop flapping about um i think the best thing what we could do is i'll put the base layer on sit on the bike see where we need to do because what we could do is probably tie wrap it to the frame here and then we'll better when we're not using it keep it out of the way let's go and get that on so both leads are a little bit long um i think the best thing would be over the leg it'll tuck down in front you have to remember i'll have a jacket on at the time so need this away to stop it from um, um, flapping in the wind um, the controller comes with a double velcro pad that can velcro somewhere I'm going to find somewhere where it will go try and get something I think they do a pouch for it um, but it sort of needs to be somewhere where you can see it and you can use it whilst you're riding so you can turn it turn the vest up and down one thing I haven't said is the sizing um, I took a 42 inch jacket 
I have a Hal Varsen's uh, 52 uh, jacket, motorbike jacket, which is a European size. This is a medium, it fits well, it fits close. Um, I think it's the best uh, sizing that I can get. It's the same on the website, it, it does fit. Uh, there's, there's nothing worse of, of looking at sizing and it's the wrong size and you get a medium it ends up being a large or you get a medium it ends up being a small but this is I would say a medium that's how the warm and safe base layer connects to the bike and how it fits um, not been properly tested yet weather is absolutely atrocious blowing the gale out there uh, it's still raining it's not very nice to be out on the bike at the moment hopefully get a break in the weather tomorrow might be able to get out and um, do a review on it it is going to get fully tested in about six weeks time there's five four of us five of us going to uh, Wales for two days that's coming up on the channel um, if you like the, liked it give us a thumbs up comment below if anything you'd like to comment about I'll put a link below where they bought it from um, subscribe button I think it's down there with a the bell on it every time we upload a video you'll get one a uh, notification of when it when it happens um, next video I hope is going to be a bit of a walk around of, my, of this GS of what I've spent on it what I've done on it and what's coming up in the future I've got some other bikes in here that you might be interested in want to have a look at some things I've been collecting um, many thanks for watching see you soon